In addition to its extensive measurement capabilities, the PAL-104 includes helpful features such as multiple communication interfaces, mm -hmm. user-defined alarms, and event logs. It's also ergonomic and compatible with Shalvananu's PAL transfer and data view software packages. Correct. Please could you talk us through the advantages of these features? So just talking about the communication interfaces from this, um, the PEL 104 really has all of the bases covered. Mm -hmm. So from standard things, like effectively, we can just connect up a USB cable yep. and connect that way around, which is the most simple. But we've got things like an RJ45 network point, we can, so we can connect it to a, 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 a network, a computer yep. network. We've got Bluetooth, we've got Wi-Fi, and we've even got the ability to put a SIM card in and connect to it through a 3G network. So really, from a connectivity point of view with the PAL 104, you are covered from yes. every point of view, really. It's always going to meet your needs. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's always going to be a connectivity function there for you. User-defined alarms and event logs, how are they useful? Okay, so within the, within the PAL 104, the, there's an alarms feature. So effectively, we can go in there, we can set alarms for something simple like if the power went off, it could send you an email, or it could just log that as an event. Um, we can set... I think there's about 40 odd different alarms we can set in there. So um, say if the voltage went over a certain limit, it went under a certain limit, if current went over a value, under a value, any of the parameters that can measure, we can set in for these alarms to be triggered. Yeah. And it will either store that as an event and say it happened at whatever time and date, or you can configure it to actually even send you an email to say, here is, you know, this is what's happened at this time. Yeah. So your phone will ding and you'll say, oh, right, the voltage has gone below a certain time. And then you potentially go out to site and sort it out. Or maybe you just need to register that and say, all right, great, yeah. we'll sort that out tomorrow, whatever it is. Um, the other thing it's got is the ability to actually send reports. So it can send reports, say, every day, every week, every month, that sort of thing. So we've had one in our office set up to actually send out an email with the electricity meter reading every night. Oh. So you literally just get, at midnight, it just says, right, this is how much electricity you've used that day and sends out an email. So from that side of things, it's just quite easy to, to be able to monitor electrical installations. Yeah. Um, we've had customers where they've actually got, um, it was actually a film studio, it's where they were looking at, they rent out certain lots, uh -huh. And they, they literally had a guy in a golf cart going around and actually taking meter readings so they could build the individual lots. So using something like a PEL 104 with an email update, yeah. it's just so much easier to just get a, an energy reading every night, just drops into the inbox and away you go. So on the PEL 104, having the alarms and the reports feature is, is really a useful upgrade. And that's, that's one of the differences between the PEL 104 and the PEL 103, which doesn't have those functions. Thank you for speaking with us today. Um, it was very informative. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and share this video with anyone you think it might help. As ever, if you missed anything, please do leave your questions in the comments. Alternatively, you can find all the information about the PEL 104 and other Shabananu PELs on our website, www.tester.co.uk.